My name is Michael Francis, and this is my life. Fortune magazine, 1986, 50 biggest and most powerful mob bosses in the country. And I was number 18, five behind Gotti at the time, the youngest guy on the list. Today, some 25 years later, out of that list of 50, 44 of them are dead. By the early 80s, he and his crew had established a mythical reputation. It's no coincidence there's a character named after him in the movie Goodfellas. My father didn't want me to be a mobster. He wanted me to be a doctor. When dad was sentenced to 50 years in prison, I knew he would die in jail if I didn't help him out. He asked me one question. If you ever had to kill somebody, could you do it? And that's how the mob life started for me. I love my father, and if becoming a made man would help him get out of prison, I wouldn't hesitate. I was making millions for the family, and in 1980, the boss made me a capo de jean. When dad made parole, he started grooming me to be the boss of the Colombo family. Who's that girl? I saw her step out of that pool, and she just blew me away. I mean, she was hot. I just looked at him, and I said, you know, someday you're going to marry me. I know that. And I said, you love me. He turned around, and he said, yeah, I think you're right. Michael Franzese is not the first member of his father's crime family to go into the motion picture business. Organized crime as its own handsome young prince. He says he doesn't have $14 million. He doesn't. He has about $50 million. It would seem that Michael Francisi is unfortunately following the footsteps of his father. You are the youngest, richest mafia don in the United States. It's absolutely untrue. When I first walked away, it was extremely difficult for me. I mean, I felt like I betrayed my oath. I betrayed my father. I betrayed my life. If you leave the mob and you're not in the witness protection program, there is a very high likelihood you will not survive. I will cut your filthy heart out. And throw away a half billion dollars? I don't think so. Michael Franzese's career as a movie producer was interrupted, and he was in handcuffs. Franzese has yet to testify against any mafia boss, and he hasn't paid a dime. This could be four years, this could be five years. Oh no, you don't know until they come home, really. So I knew that I had to return to my passion and my heart, and that was dance. By the time I was 34 years old, I had been arrested and went to trial four times. They even arrested Cammy to try to squeeze me, and that was devastating. I can honestly say that was the absolute worst night of my life. This might help you out. This time, I really believed that I was going to lose everything. My mother-in-law started to get to me a little bit. She says, you know, you're a sinner. There's forgiveness at the foot of the cross. I was completely drawn to the qualities Jesus possessed as a man. I came to realize that Jesus was truly a man's man, and he inspired me to turn my life around. But it was a real challenge for me to change not only my mind, but my heart, from that of a made man to that of a real man. It didn't happen overnight. My name is Michael Franzese, and this is my story. I need to be dead or in prison. Told in an exciting new way. And I'm here to give praise to my Lord and Savior. Interviews. You come to faith. You don't forget who you were at one time. Through dance. You either leave this life in a coffin, archival footage, or a witness protection program, animation. Obviously, I've done neither. And recreations. If God can forgive me, a former mobster, and give me my life, my freedom, a wife that I adore, children that I love, then he can and he will do it for anyone.